What's up guys, it's Chris Majestic and today's video is about the newest Wi-Fi standard which is Wi-Fi 7. So there have been a couple of new wireless standards over the past few years like Wi-Fi 6 and 6E and even though Wi-Fi 6E was already pretty fast, Wi-Fi 7 not only makes 6E seem slow but it even makes most wired connections look slow. So what I have with me here is the TP-Link Deco BE85. This is a BE22000 tri-band whole home mesh Wi-Fi system and this thing is absolutely Absolutely insane. So this is a three pack system which comes with three identical units. They have a nice cylinder shape measuring just over nine inches tall and around five inches wide. They have a small LED light on the bottom which you can use to tell the status of the unit, vents on the top as well as an internal fan to keep things cool, and of course all the ports are on the back. Now most people probably don't even know what this is, but these actually have SFP plus ports on them. This is a port that usually exists on commercial grade network equipment that allows you to to use a 10 gig fiber or twin X connection. So if you happen to have an insanely fast internet connection, this thing will easily handle it. And if you don't wanna use the SFP port, it also has a 10 gig ethernet port, giving you some nice flexibility. It also has another 10 gig port that you can use for your high end network equipment, or you can use it as a wired backhaul for the other access points. And you also get two 2.5 gig ethernet ports for even more devices. It also has a USB 3.0 port that you can use for shared storage, and it has a W UPS button for easy Wi-Fi setup. So I happen to have some extra fiber cable as well as a 10 gig transceiver laying around, so we'll be taking full advantage of everything this router has to offer. So as I do with all my testing, I'll be using my own internal speed test server running on multiple machines, and I'll place the main router in my kitchen, which is in the middle of the house, and run speed tests from several locations around the house. Then I'll run some tests from the mesh access point to see how fast that connection is. All right guys, so now we're in my kitchen where I'm gonna run the very first speed test, and I'm standing about nine or 10 feet away from the main access point so we can see the fastest speeds. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the speed test. We are definitely gonna somehow get over three gigs a second. So we're, oh my God. So it looks like we're gonna end up with 3,342. So that's almost 3,500 megs a second, which is ridiculous. Let's see what we get on the upload. I can't imagine it's gonna be that fast. Oh my God. So we're gonna end up with 3,168. So over three gigs a second down. That is the craziest speed I think I've ever seen over Wi-Fi. All right, so now I'm standing all the way across the room. So I'm about 35 feet away from the main access point, but it is line of sight. So we can see if standing right up on it gave us the fastest speeds and let's see what we get. And we are still getting over three gigs a second, which is unbelievable. Are we gonna get over two gigs a second upload? So we're gonna end up with 1922. So almost two gigs a second upload across the room. All right, so now I'm in the sitting room, which is on the other side of the house, in the front of the house. And again, I'm now about probably about another 35 feet away from the router, but now I'm going through some walls. So we'll see how the walls affect the speed test. So let's see what we get here. So it looks like we're probably gonna get over two gig. Oh my God, we're almost pushing three somehow. What is, this is crazy. And we are at, 2817. This is crazy, man. I mean, this is, am I going to get over a gig upload? I got 1175. That's well over a gig. All right, guys. So now we're downstairs in the basement, which is a place where a lot of the wireless routers that I test out have trouble. So we're about 40 feet away from the wireless router and we're down one level. So we're going to run a speed test here and see what kind of speeds we get. All right. So right off the bat, it's definitely going to be over a gig. It looks like we're gonna get around 1700, yeah, 1704, so around 1700 megs a second, which is incredible. And let's see what we get on the upload. So yeah, the upload is definitely struggling a bit compared to the download, which is pretty common down here in the basement because a lot of routers struggle down here. And looks like we're gonna get it 366 up. So a really good speed, even though it's not quite as good as we got upstairs, that's still pretty good. All right guys, so now I wanna run a speed test outside in my driveway. Hopefully you guys can hear me over the rush hour traffic behind me. But this is what I like to call the Bermuda Triangle of Wi-Fi in my house, since it's where I usually get the worst signal. Some routers don't even get a signal out here. So let's go ahead and run a speed test and see what we get. All right, yeah, so 119, that's definitely among the best that I've seen so far. And let's see what we get on the upload. 
All right, so 119 down and 40, almost 42 up. That is definitely pretty good. This is gonna be about 70 feet away from the main router outside in the driveway. That's a pretty good speed. All right, guys, so now I'm in my wife's office, which is upstairs and about 40 feet away from the router. So it's one floor away. So right here, I have one of the mesh units sitting right here on the desk and it's connected wirelessly to the main router downstairs. So we're gonna run a speed test here and see what kind of speeds we get. Wow, this is absolutely insane. It looks like we just got 1780, which is 1.7 gigs a second. And let's go ahead and see what we're gonna get on the upload. And we got 1.3 gigs per second upload. So to put this into perspective, with most wireless routers, when you have a whole home system, when you're using the mesh access point, you're usually gonna see significantly lower speeds. But considering the technology in these routers, we're still seeing really, really fast speeds. All right, so there you have it, guys. Wi-Fi 7 is clearly not all hype. And just in case, in case you're interested, I also did some tests with Wi-Fi 5 and 6E so you can see what kind of numbers I got from those. Now they're not nearly as fast as the OnePlus 11 which has Wi-Fi 7, but they're still insanely fast. Okay, so with all these cutting edge features, how much does this system cost? Well, the three pack system will set you back a whopping 1300 bucks, even though it often goes on sale for less. You can also opt for the two pack for anywhere from 700 to 800 bucks depending on sales. There's also a BE95 system which is even more insane with two six gigahertz channels. And that system retails for 900 bucks for two units. At the end of the day, these are definitely not cheap, but if you wanna be on the cutting edge, this is one way to do it. I wanna thank TP-Link for sending out the BE85 for me to test with, and I wanna thank you guys for watching the video. And if you found the video helpful, go ahead and make sure you mash that like button for me. And if you haven't already, definitely consider subscribing to the channel so you don't miss out on new videos like this one. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next video.